Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Tojiro DP Sujihiki, or slicing knife. This is the 240 millimeter size. So this line of knives has a uh, core steel of VG10 full stainless, and the heat treats about 60 Rockwell on that. Uh, the construction has a soft stainless steel cladding on either side of that coarse steel that wraps around the spine. So it's an all stainless construction. Uh, their version of VG10 is well done and with a decent, I shouldn't say decent, with a very good heat treat on it. So it's easy to sharpen, holds a decent edge, very easy to touch up on straps or, or rods and somewhat forgiving steel. So it's a, it's a good choice for a home or a professional kitchen. Uh, it's just, it's a proven steel and this is a proven line of knives. The weight and dimension should be pretty close from knife to knife on these. Uh, this one's 176 grams or 6.2 ounces in weight. The edge length is about 235 millimeters from the tip to the back of the heel or about um, 9 and a quarter inches. And the overall length is about 14.4 inches for the entire blade. The spine thickness on this, I measured about 2 millimeters at the back on the spine thickness and then about 1.7 halfway down. And you'll see some distal taper or, or thinning of the spine as we go down towards the tip. And it gets fairly thin at the tip. You can see that taper down there. So it actually gets pretty skinny at that very, very tip. Be good for some detail work if you want to do that. Here's your choil shot. Not a particularly tall blade, but kind of standard suji or sujihiki style height. The blade height on this one is about 35.7 millimeters at the back. And the blade, uh, or I should say the handle, is black micarta, which is a very dimensionally stable product uh, so it does not shrink or swell much at all over time. Uh, they've got a full stainless steel tang, stainless rivets, a nice full bolster that goes into the flows into the blade. So nicely done on the handle. Uh, this is a pretty decent size handle. It's kind of uh, got a little bit of meat to the size on it. The uh, balance point on that is still going to be fairly far back because the blade's not very tall so it's a light blade. So there's your balance point on there. The uh, let's get, guess, let's get our beauty shot here. So fit and finish is nicely done on these and quite consistent. Uh, but the only issue with these is they tend to have a kind of sharp edges on the choil, the back of the blade here. So you could clean that up with some strips of sandpaper or emery cloth pretty quickly if you felt the need to do that. Some people like to clean up the corners of the spine a little bit as well and just round those off a little. Uh, just depending on your personal preference. Some people it bothers them, some people they don't care, so it just depends. But it's a pretty easy cleanup if you wish to do so. The uh, blade is a fair amount of stiffness to it and um, I'd say the out of the box edge, I'll give them about a 6 out of 10, so you can definitely get them sharper than they come from factory, but they put a pretty decent edge on them out of the box and these will take a very nice edge. The uh, purpose of course of a suji is generally slicing duties. Um, but let's take a look at what the cutting board profile is because some people like to use these on the board and get a lot of different uh, you know, purposes out of that blade. Uh, if you want to do that, there's a pretty flat back half of the blade back here, so this would definitely chop pretty nicely in the back half. And it'll do a little bit of rocking if you want to do that as well. So some people just like to grab what they have on the board and just work with the product, especially if you're in a pro environment. Uh, so this will do a variety of tasks for you, but of course its primary mission is slicing. So just another good option in this line of knives that has uh, quite a few varieties of sizes and shapes and, and uh, purposes for the different blades. So uh, another good knife in this lineup. This is the Tojiro DP Sujihiki 240 millimeter knife.